So it's just a question of how much control do you have? So so now this this forty gate is registered in the same uh, forty k account. So if I go to security fabric and I go to fabric connectors now, and now I now go and enable EMS cloud. So what it's going to do is it's going to look for the SASE EMS. So I just say enable EMS cloud. So I'll just give it a name, um, any name, demo, right? Or any name. So if I say okay, so because this is the same SASE account, right? So I click okay. So you're saying that it failed to verify certificates, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to close that. So if I open it again, now if you've done this before, have a handshake between EMS and FortiGate. So you know that you need to import the certificates. You understand? So if I go to system, You have to um, enable it to the feature. Okay, is there? Yes. So you need to import the certificate and go. All right. So, but if I go on SASE now and go to access proxy again, do you see that, that my forty gate has shown up here? So once I authorize it here. I can then go back. So all those communication would happen automatically. So I can go back here. Uh, public, security public, public connectors to my EMS. So, and I, and I now say refresh or authorize. So you see the certificate. So I click accept. Yeah, it's probably showing this, but it's connected already. So you see, is now connected. So if I come to ZTNA, for example, now, uh, policy ZTNA, and I look at the, the tags. So it's going to be importing tags from 40 SASE. So we can go on 40 SASE and create a ZTNA tag. So if I create a tag, What should we name it? Tiger Logic. Have we? So let's say there's a tag called Tiger Logic. This is a demo rule. We've enabled the rule. So what are we looking for? So maybe Mac OS. Uh, what should we be looking for in Mac? OS version. What version of Mac are you on? So for me, is it not Catalina? What version of Mac are you running? It's is it on the phone? Okay. I think I can see it from here. No, just hold on. Don't worry. I can see it from the... I can see it from here. Okay, so which one is 12.6? Anyone? Monterey. Is that the name? I think so. Okay. 
So if I go back to configuration, Z10 again, and I create a rule and say demo, I'm looking for Mac OS. Uh, OS version. So we can click select multiple ones. Yeah. And say okay. And then I want it to match Tiger Logic. So what that means, so if I go to the tag, I'll see if anything matches it. Okay, so there's a system that matches it. So if I go on 40 gate and I look at my tags, so you see the tiger logic. You see that that tag is here already now. Uh -huh. So I can view matched endpoints. So that information is not here yet, but it's going to show endpoint that is matching. Then on his own system, I can say that if you see the tag, uh, if I go back to profile and I click on show tags on 40 clients, and I apply it. So let me do the same. Let's create a tag for Windows. So let's create another tag. Uh, okay, let's say Tiger Logic TL. Let me not use another store. Windows. So this is to match Windows machines. And I come here and I create a rule, say demo two, and I want to match Windows OS version. What version are you running? 11, Abby? Let me say 11 and 10. Yes, 11, yeah. Then we match this. So what that means essentially is that this is going to match. So this is matching one machine. So you can look on your system, uh, share your screen. Oh, but hold on, hold on. So if I go back to 40 gate, so let's see if that new tag will be here. So if I click on tags, you see that that new tag is here. Yes. Okay. Uh, so you can share your screen. <clears throat> you can bring up your project okay. lines. So click on that, uh, that your name, maybe your icon, that icon. No, where your picture was going to be. Yeah, so you see the ZN tag. Okay, yeah, I can see it. So that's what is watching. So I can then begin to create rules, you know. So the moment, um, so that tag, you're having that tag because you're matching that rule. If you stop matching that rule, that tag will disappear. So that's the difference with SNA versus regular VPN. OK, we need to stop here. Thank you very much, guys. Um, let me see if I can share my screen again. There is a... Um, can, uh, can you grant us access to disconnect this VPN? No. Yes. <laughs> uh, I my so now, but... <laughs> okay, so so in the ZNA configuration, so those configuration will not be done here. The the ZNA server 
for the on-prem access and the ZTNA rules. So if I come here now and create, so ZTNA server, that's the, that's the 40 gate now. Uh, let me say I create uh, web. Let me say, let's just say something. Let's let's do, okay, internet access. Let's say the external IP is 4.4.4. I'm just using, you know, um, and we create TCP forwarding. So for TCP forwarding, you will see that information. So let me just do this. And the port is on, let's say, 22, right? And I say, OK. So you're going to have that there. So the certificates. That's our, that's our leg that. And I say, OK. So what you're going to see now is, so I can create as many TCP forwarding. Um, so if you go to um, ZTNA destinations, so you see the TCP forwarding rules here. You know, by the time uh, that policy is pushed, uh, by the time that policy is pushed to you, uh, you will see that um, information. No, you show it. It will take a few minutes for that to sync. You know, so it syncs, then it pushes that to you. So from the start, the, the ZTNA server will be the 40 gates. Uh, it's both SASE and 40 gate working together. So again, right. let me go back. Let me go back here. 